The following is a sample from this week's episode of Peter Pan and Wendy by J. M. Barry, produced in support of Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital in London. To gain access to the full audiobook, please visit the Just Giving page linked in the description and make a donation to Great Ormond Street, and you will be emailed a download link and access code. Please give what you can. Here's this week's sample. Peter, she asked, trying to speak firmly. What are your exact feelings for me? Those of a devoted son, Wendy. I thought so, she said, and went and sat by herself at the extreme end of the room. You are so queer, he said, frankly puzzled, and Tiger Lily is just the same. There is something she wants to be to me, but she says it is not my mother. No, indeed it is not, Wendy replied with frightful emphasis. Then what is it? It isn't for a lady to tell. Oh, very well, Peter said, a little nettled. Perhaps Tinkerbell will tell me. Oh yes, Tinkerbell will tell you, Wendy retorted scornfully. She is an abandoned little creature. Here Tink, who was in her boudoir eavesdropping, squeaked out something impudent. She says she glories in being abandoned, Peter interpreted. He had a sudden idea. Perhaps Tink wants to be my mother. You silly ass, cried Tinkerbell in a passion. She had said it so often that Wendy needed no translation. I almost agree with her, Wendy snapped. Fancy Wendy snapping. But she had been much tried, and she little knew what was to happen before the night was out. If she had known, she would not have snapped. In 1929, J. M. Barry unexpectedly and generously gifted his copyright of Peter Pan to Great Ormond Street Hospital. In recognition of the unprecedented generosity and the exceptional work of the hospital itself, the House of Lords sprinkled more fairy dust over Great Ormond Street in 1988 by voting overwhelmingly for a special clause in the UK's Copyright Designs and Patents Act. This amendment gives the hospital the right to a royalty from Peter Pan in perpetuity in the UK. Thus, for over 80 years so far, the story of Peter Pan has benefited the seriously ill children who come to Great Ormond Street for life-saving treatment every day and will continue to do so in the future.